Yeah, so what we, uh, we have, uh, let's see, it's over 10 clinical studies on X39. And what we need to do is comply with the category of general wellness with FDA. So we're not a class one, two, or three medical device. We're in the general wellness category. So that the benefit of that is it allows us to make claims like improving energy, improving sleep, managing pain, but it doesn't allow us to make any medical claims. And we're not allowed to say that we're treating a disease. So what we can say is that we are going to elevate or restore levels of copper peptide in the body. And one of the known benefits of copper peptide is that it activates stem cells. So when we uh, do our blood and urine testing, we're looking for two things. The first thing is, does the patch elevate copper peptide? So we have multiple blood studies now that all prove that we do. Within 24 hours, levels of copper peptide are going up. So that's very empirical. We hit that with statistical significance. Um, what we do with the urine tests is we look at um, metabolic activity in the body. So we want to know what are the effects of X39 and copper peptide. And those, of course, you know, we also have documented. But in terms of stem cell mobilization, it can't be quantified uh, from one, in, it can be quantified from one individual to another, but it's not practical to do it for a large population with a general product. There, we would have to uh, take a very, very narrow range of age, uh, eliminate people that had different health conditions. You'd have to account for diet and lifestyle. All these things are going to impact the health and quality of stem cells. So it's it's not a good representative marker. The best marker that we have is uh, people will get about a 30 to 40% increase in copper peptide levels. And then we can look at in the, in the literature, what does this mean in terms of stem cell activity? And it's extremely significant. Well, you know, as an example, if people were healing 30 to 40% faster, there's not a pharmaceutical drug that can do that. 